grab your water shoes, because today we're going to hop around the pond. A pond is a small area of still fresh water. Ponds may look small, but they do a big job in supporting all kinds of wildlife. Many creatures love to hang out at the pond, me included. Water birds like ducks, geese, and herons build their nests near the water's edge. Other animals you might see are insects, fish, and amphibians. Amphibians live on both the land and in the water. One of my all-time favorite amphibians are frogs. Did you know some frogs can jump more than 20 times their body length? That's like a human jumping higher than a 10-story building. Wow! I bet you didn't know that almost two-thirds of all freshwater wildlife live in ponds. Ponds are really important because they support biodiversity. That's a fancy word meaning a variety of living things that are interconnected. Here to tell us more is a science teacher, Christina. One of the beautiful things about the environment is the way that everything is connected. The pond is a great example of an ecosystem. An ecosystem is the community of everything around an area, the plants, the animals, and the non-living things, like the rocks and the minerals. And in an ecosystem, the things are all depending on each other. Even if something doesn't seem important, like you may think, ah, eh, bugs aren't very important. But if there were no bugs, the birds wouldn't have anything to eat and there wouldn't be any birds. So each thing is important in its own way. All right, I'm looking for bugs to catch. I see some swimming around in here. Look at this cute little snail. Snails love water. They need it for their little trail of slime that comes out the back. I think this guy is very cute. You may wonder, how do plants and algae get their food? Because they just seem to sit there, right? They don't go anywhere. Well, they take the heat and light from the sun. The plant's roots take nutrients from the soil and the leaves take in air. And the sun helps the plant process those minerals and what they get from the air. And that's how the plant gets the food. And that is called photosynthesis. In the food chain, the animals eat the plants and that energy goes to the animals. And then some animals may eat other animals like birds eat insects and that energy then goes into the birds. The energy flows through the food chain, all coming from our lovely sun. This has been great. Our story's all done. Click the next video and we'll have some more fun.